Deb, are you here and available? Excellent. Here. Welcome. We're delighted that you're here. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Council Members. I appreciate the time. Well, you think after four years this will get easier, but it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do have an updated version of what I said to the President and Kathy. Some great things are happening in Lewiston, Clarkston Valley. Um, as you know, we are a border community on the Washington-Idaho border, and our sister city is Clarkston, Washington. Um, this is an overview of the grant that we will request, and the grant will pretty much read as our grant did last year, but there's a few different changes. Um, Lorraine Roach created a valley-wide tourism plan for the Valley Vision, which is our economic development association in the Lewis Clark Valley. And the goal of that plan was to um, envelop all of the agencies or organizations that were promoting tourism. Um, being on a border state or on a border community, we had um, the Health Canyon Visitors Bureau, which was promoting tourism in Minnesota County, Clarkston, uh, Washington. And then we had the Lewiston Chamber, which was promoting tourism in Lewiston, Nesbrook County. And so the plan actually um, was to incorporate all of us under one roof to reduce our duplications, to reduce um, expenses, to um, combine our websites, to combine our efforts instead of us duplicating what each of us, each of those organizations were doing. So this organization has now, um, is rolling out. And August 1st, we believe, is our date that we will initiate this new organization. It is um, being called the Lewis Clark Valley Hell's Canyon Visitors Bureau. And that's a really long name, that name may change, but we wanted to identify the players. And it's not just Hell's Canyon, but it's what we can promote in the Lewiston, Clarkston Valley and the surrounding area. Um, the city of Clarkston has a two additional 2% lodging tax, as does the state of Washington. And so those funding mechanisms are in place for the Asotin, or the Clarkston side of the organization. The city of Lewiston has pledged $50,000 the Lewiston Chamber has pledged $10,000, and those are two-year pledges. Um, we are right now collecting the signatures needed to get an auditorium district um, formed and get that on the ballot for November, and that's going fairly well. Um, we are very encouraged. The community is behind us. The media is very supportive of what we're doing, and uh, we're out there stumping to the Rotary Clubs and the Kiwanis and gathering those si signatures and explaining how tourism truly impacts our community. Um, the Lewiston Chamber is requesting that um, the grant that has been applied for through the Lewiston Chamber um, be passed through to the Lewis Park Valley Health Canyon Visitors Bureau. Um, Michelle Peters is the director of the Health Canyon Visitors Bureau currently, and um, she will continue as executive director of the new organization, and I have been asked to come on board as the director of tourism development, and uh, I'm very pleased and, and proud to be invited to be a part of this new organization. That being said, um, we believe that our community can be marketed, um, can be positioned against competitive markets as a value priced friendly small town alternative. We are extremely safe, we have wonderful weather, and of course we have Hell's Canyon, which is a great draw for us. Um, we, our market plans include just diversifying marketing to attract a variety of groups, um, of visitors. We are heavy into the RV market, we have some great RV parks on both sides of the river, in Marston and in Lewiston, and so we recognize that that is going to be a great form of travel this summer. Um, instead of flying to Disneyland with a high cost of airfare, we believe that the Seattle market, the Portland market, the Spokane market uh, will explore their own backyard, which is us. Um, we want to attract higher value visitors who stay longer. We want to enhance and create a new website that encompasses all the organizations that are coming under this umbrella. Um, we want to continue to maintain our alliances with our outdoor travel writers. And just to note that Lewiston is the site of the 2009 Northwest Outdoor Writers Association Conference. And we're very pleased to have that conference on. We've been on that two years ago and it was announced at this last, this last week. Um, we definitely want to continue to develop and maintain relationships with other travel media, including submitting story ideas, upcoming events, and providing support information. And then, of course, there's the tracking. Um, we need to know, are we being affected? Do our room nights increase? Um, and we have very um, 
strong benchmarks in place for this new organization and for both of the staff members to ensure that what we're doing is effective and that our dollars are definitely going the right way. Um, we will continue to use a, a mix of print advertising um, that we always have. We placed in Sunset Magazine. Um, this last grant cycle that the Lewiston Chamber had, we were very collaborative and I think for the first time ever, um, we co-opt more of our ads, our Sunset ads, our RV Journal ads, and it <coughs> has been very effective in extending our dollars and driving people to all of the websites that are listed on those ads. Um, we also feel that the lewiston Clarkston Valley has failed to capitalize on our great sporting venues that we, that we currently have. Uh, we are a baseball town, as you know, with the home of the NAIA World Series. We just bid on that and were awarded again for another three-year contract. So we're extremely pleased that the NAIA has recognized what our community brings to the baseball field, and that is fans. Um, our fans fill the seats even when our home team is a playing. It's not unusual to see 5,000 people sitting in the park uh, watching teams from the East Coast play one another. So that is uh, very important to us. We start our kids young in baseball, and so we have fields for the little leaguers, for the t-ball kids, uh, the girls. Um, we also are looking at, with auditorium district tax revenues, to uh, build a sporting complex similar to the one that is in Tri-Cities. We've been contacted, uh, the Parks and Rec Department in Lewiston has been contacted by two farm teams that say if you build it, we will come. And they will use our facility as a training facility. So uh, there is property that has been purchased by the school district and they're willing to pony up with us to create a sporting complex in that area. Um, that being said as well, we believe that we can go to um, conventions or conferences such as teams. Pocatello has been extremely successful in what they have done in attracting competitive sporting events, and we feel that we can do the same. Right now we have a wakeboard contest that really is um, under-promoted, and we feel that as a tourism bureau that we can help promote that and let it let it um, grow as it should, foster the growth in that. Uh, those two rivers are underutilized. We see jet ski competitions, we see um, mini sprint boat competitions, uh, but we just have failed to capitalize on that. So. We believe that drawing all of our tourism efforts under one roof will allow us to concentrate on attracting more competitive sporting events. Um, we maintain our Rocky Mountain International um, presence. That's been very strong for us. And of course, the tribe is very well recognized in Rocky Mountain. And uh, Station and Farron have done a great job with that. 